Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this palette kind of first impression review tutorial all in one. And so I just wanted to say thank you to Sabrina the Makeup Mom for passing this along to me. Um, I've really enjoyed using this and I look forward to purchasing one myself. So super pumped you sent me home with this um, over our vacay. So long story short um oh my gosh this pretty vulgar nightingale palette is adorable so i love the outside of the packaging y'all it is so pretty i love the birds and the lifted gilding and the back side of the palette is equally as adorable so then when you open it what do you get more adorability not even a word but do i care no because it explains it in my own little way so when you open it, you have this great mirror. There's more detail around the mirror, which makes it absolutely adorable. Again, I love the little details. I love just the extra bit that they put into making this palette great because there are so many other palettes that don't add the extra little detail and it really does make a difference. Um, so then when you're looking at the colors, okay, once again, we have the bird on the outside. I love me some birds. Um, we have the bird cage and in between the bird cage, we have the beautiful colors with the little bird on top. Okay. I am a sucker for amazing marketing and cute marketing and precious marketing. And this hits the cute, precious and gotta love it marketing. So when I looked at these colors, of course I fell in love because these colors are right up my alley. I always tend to gravitate. Yes, Cheryl, you're right. I gravitate towards the browns and the neutrals and probably more of the boring colors. Um, but I love all those colors. I think they're absolutely beautiful and I really do love grays and blacks. So this palette had everything for me and what I gravitate towards in the most adorable packaging. So as you're gonna see in a moment, I use some nocturnal, um, some dark side hide and seek, a little bit of silver spoon after midnight and some all nighter. Love the names there and we touched it off with some clutch. So I did kind of a um, halo smoky eye with this. I will say the palettes for the beginning users um, you are probably going to like these palettes because it doesn't have a lot of fallout. The pigmentation isn't off the hook, which is good because it gives you an opportunity to blend and build up your color, which is really nice because if you are intimidated by high pigment colors or colors that have a lot of fallout, this palette really isn't going to have either of those problems for you. So then I'm, I might have some of the ladies or gentlemen that say, oh my gosh, well, I like high pigmentation. I'm not going to like that palette. Actually, you probably are. Um, it, it isn't too far off from having some strong pigmentation, but again, it gives you the opportunity to softly blend up. It doesn't have a lot of fallout, kick out, etc. So you're not going to get a, um, a ton where you're having to use the guards, etc. So I basically had my full face makeup done, prep, prime, finishing spray, etc. before I did my eyes. And I will say um, what little bit, tiny bit of the black fallout, and usually that will make you look like you just got socked in the eye. I just used my powder brush and, and just kind of gently fluffed and pushed it away there wasn't really anything there so I think this palette really is kind of that middle of the road where it's going to capture a bigger audience it's going to capture some of the new users when they find out that it it really isn't over the top with uh, fallout and pigmentation it's going to bring in those people that aren't 100% confident and then because it is a pretty palette and it builds up nicely and softly, I think for those people that are comfortable or pros are going to like it also because it really is so user friendly. So I think it, it um, kind of basically captures a large wide range of audiences. And again, the, the packaging was beautiful. The colors were awesome. 
I used clutch at, with no setting spray, no, um, I didn't get my brush wet and I was impressed by how pretty it was without the need of having to wet the product. Um, I find shimmers a little irritating when you have to really wet the product to make it look like what is in the pan. And this one I really didn't have trouble. I like being able to use a dry powder. Um, so I, I kind of had fun with this look. And if you want to see how I created this eye look, uh, please stay tuned. And I hope you guys have a great day. Let's get started. So this is the Nightingale Eye Palette from Pretty Vulgar. And this is Sabrina the Makeup Mom. So she sent this home with me to try. And so I'm super pumped about it. And you can kind of see the smoky halo eye effect that I created using this palette. I started out using the color Nocturnal and kind of placing that along the inner corner and up along the brow bone. Once I have that color set, then I went in and took some hide and seek and used the hide and seek for the transition shade. And what I noticed about this palette is it's not over the top pigmented, so you actually don't have to tap your brush. You can take your time and build up the colors. You just kind of have to keep, like I said, well, I just said it, you have to build up the colors. So I think this is a good palette for someone that is afraid of too much pigment, doesn't like a lot of fallout. This palette really would be great for you. Next, I took a bit of the color Dark Side and I went a little bit kind of dabbing on the inner part of the eyelid. I didn't want to get too far onto this piece so I'm kind of applying it by dabbing and, and setting the color in that way because I don't want my halo to get on the bridge of my nose. That always drives me crazy when I see halos get a little sideways. So then we're going to similar kind of dab it and swirl it. Dab and swirl on the outer part of the eyelid. And when I'm comfortable with my dab and swirl, then I'm just going to lightly feather those two together. Easy, right? I love easy. So the next color I'm using is the color Clutch. And that is going on the middle part of the eye. And I was pretty excited about the shimmer because I really didn't want to wet my brush. I wanted to just do it with a dry color and see how that shimmer worked. And it, it's really lovely. So I do have to say I, I enjoy this shimmer color clutch. I did take a spot of the color All Nighter on a flat brush and put that towards the outer third of the eye. Then I took a bit of a fluffier brush. Um, this is a detail brush by Royal and Langnickel and went in with the after midnight color. I was like, did I use silver spoon? We'll do silver spoon and after midnight. How about that? So I'm gonna, I might have two different color eyes. But just going over the top of the all nighter. A, a really pretty soft effect on the under under eye. I'm also going to take the Sephora Outrageous Intense Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. So I'm going to use that on my inner waterline. And then I'm going to take that on the flat brush and basically go on the upper lash line. And I basically just smudged that on the upper lash line. I'm not trying to do a real intense black line. I wanted it a little bit more soft. Just kind of smudging that along the upper lash line worked for me. 
Now I'm going to apply my Ardell Wispy, and I'm not sure what number this is. Okay, well that's setting in place so that I can add some mascara. I'm just going to take a powder brush and just kind of go along the edges here. Now again, I didn't tap my brush. I really didn't have a lot of fallout, but since I'm using blacks and grays, I just want to make sure that we sweep that all away. As far as the rest of my face goes today, let's see what colors I used. Um, I did use the Boots number no. 7 Stay Perfect for the foundation, and that color was in Warm Ivory. Ivory. For my powder, no surprise, we had the Cody Airspun. I used the Scandinavia as my finishing spray and my setting spray. For my lips, I used ColourPop, and I have since lost that little one. I will find the color pop. It was in a gloss, which was odd for me because I really like mattes. And so I was kind of proud of myself. I went with a glossy lip. I did use the MAC Whirl for my lip liner. And for blush, I used the MAC Warm Soul. For my contour, I used the IBY Beauty highlight and contour palette. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I used. Oh, and I did use the Sharp, I do this every time, Tarte Shape Tape for the highlight. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what I used while my eyelash was drying. And then I'm just gonna go in with an old favorite. It's kind of like putting on, you know, your comfy slippers in the morning. Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Thank you so much for watching this review and tutorial of the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Eyeshadow Palette. So if you've used this product, do please put some comments below. I'm super pumped about hearing what you have to say about this brand. If you like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a beautiful day. Until next time.